Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, whatever. You know, happy holidays, I guess. So, what's going on, guys? Darkness here. And today, what I'm going to be doing is reviving my Minecraft Let's Play series on my server. So, as you can see, I'm actually on my server right now. Uh, basically just running around but what I wanted to do today is basically show you what you guys haven't seen because I haven't been recording because I was waiting to get my new computer so I guess we could start back up at the top so on the very very f like top floor I guess you could call it we have another portal and we have two beds for some reason we have two beds I don't know why I think I just put them down and then you have my OCD chest storage so in here you get some random semi valuable items then in here we have a load of iron uh, as in all my worlds I end up mining a lot and then in here we have all the mob drops and stuff and if you're wondering why I have a lot of bone meal. I'm actually making a tree farm from based off another person's, another YouTuber's channel, and I'll probably do a tutorial type thing on that, and then I'll link him down below when I come and do that video. In here, we have all my weapons and stuff, like my spare weapons. Like I get a bunch of bows. Uh, in here, we have random wood items mostly I use this for sticks I don't really use the fences very much but I just kind of threw them in there for lack of a better place in here we have some random junk basically and this was just my miscellaneous crap chest and then I have sugar cane down at the bottom so if you guys couldn't tell due to the time of the year I'm actually recording this Christmas Eve the 24th it's probably going up the same day so you can see that all the chests are Christmas themed and that's because Minecraft uh, Mojang does that every year they did it last year I'm not sure if they did it the year before I don't think I was big into Minecraft yet but they did it last year I know for a fact so that's that in this chest we have all my food and as you can see I have an abundance of food pretty much with everything I pretty well set on food and here we have wood as you can see I have a lot of wood already but I'm in the process of building something over there so I'm gonna need more more wood and here we have wheat seeds eggs just my like animals chest like I guess you could call it and here you have uh, chest number two for my nether stuff so chest number one is right here where I have all my nether brick uh, another rack rather glowstone and quartz and such like that so here's the second chest mostly for the smaller things in here we have all my flowers which I really haven't gotten around to doing anything with that's not supposed to be in there actually that's supposed to be in here so in here we have random just music discs I guess I don't know maybe one day I'll try to get all third of them however many there are I think there's 13 who knows I'll figure it out one day in here we have all my saplings and stuff we got spruce dark wood oak um, and acacia or yeah I think that's how I pronounce it in here we have our spare armor basically I've gotten most of this from killing mobs and stuff thus the lower durability which I do think is pretty nice in here we have a bunch of leaves and shears because I was working on that thing over there and it was gonna look a lot nicer but I decided just to make it random and I think I might actually tear it down because I don't like the way it's looking so far I might tear down the top layer I like the uh, base of it so far kind of looks like a penis at the moment which is kind of disturbing and that's why I want to get rid of it but anyways and here I already showed you and here is glass sand and sandstone uh, I destroyed a desert temple, that's what they're called, and got a lot of this, mostly these two things, and then I gave the rest of the sandstone to my friend, who I will show you has a giant pyramid going off in that direction. And here is my dirt chest, 
In here I have my redstone, coal, and lapis. As you can see, I have an abundance of redstone, not too much coal anymore. Well, all of these furnaces are basically filled with coal, like all 12 of them, so I do have a lot of coal. But, yeah, and then not really much else to say in there. And then I got my stone bricks, my cobble, my stone slabs, my stone and everything in there. And that's basically it for all my chest, except for my ender chest, which you can see in here. Uh, this pick right now has efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, fortune 2, so it's not bad. Then smite 4, unbreaking 3 on my diamond sword, which is also not bad. Then I just have an extra one, which actually this should be here. It's going to get fancy. Uh, over here we have two of the exact same pick. I actually enchanted these back to back, and I was like ecstatic when I found out that I got the same enchantment because it's a really good enchantment. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Efficiency 4. Um, that's boss mode. And then I have the same thing on a diamond shovel, which is awesome. And then I have just a Fortune 3, Efficiency 4 shovel with no unbreaking. Then I have a Fortune 2 diamond pickaxe. Uh, not pickaxe, a regular axe, which don't really find that much of a use for, but it's there. Then I got some iron horse armor that I found in a dungeon. Actually, no, I found that in another fortress. In here, we get a book that I found in the fortress, a decent bow, a bunch of arrows, some extra food, uh, pistons, slime balls, that's for my tree farm. Got emeralds, which I can actually take out of here and throw into here because I didn't realize I had that many. I got a lot of gold, blocks of gold, 44 diamonds, and I'm pretty well set. So over here, as you can see, we have an anvil and quite a few bookshelves. This base, this will give you the max level. It'll give you level 30. As you can see here, it'll give you level 30. But I'm only level 21, so I don't have much. So let's go down downstairs, I guess. And walking out here, there's really not much other than my mine shaft, which I can, I guess I can show you real fast. It's a strip mine that I set up basically to try to find diamonds which has actually been very successful uh first day that i built it which was yesterday i actually came across about 20 diamonds I, after i use the uh fortune pick picks that i have i was using this one but if i used the fortune three i probably would have gotten a little bit more so as you can see the first two levels i don't have much done but on this one, I have each of these mined out to 50 blocks. And then it ends, and then it comes back, which is kind of cool. And then since I don't want to go all the way back up, I just do slash home, thanks to having bucket on my server. So over here, we have some sugar cane. I should have slept before I came down here. Some farms, here's carrots, potatoes, wheat. There's some beefed up skeletons over there that I'm gonna try to ignore because nobody likes them. Nobody likes you, nobody. So then I have just a huge block of freaking oak tree because I got bored so I just put them all in a line. And I'm just gonna kill the creeper real fast. Then I have a cow farm. Not many cows at the moment because I actually just went through a slaughter fest, but that's beside the point. So my house is actually hanging. Uh, I will try to show you that right now. It's not actually supported by anything on the bottom. The um, ow. the goal of it was to kind of give the illusion that it's like being like supported from the top by like hanging there by those like arches and stuff. But it didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. So as you can see, there's really nothing here because I just got lazy and didn't want to finish it because I didn't like the way it was going so far. So as you can see, there's nothing really supporting it other than the giant uh, water elevator that I have there. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to go show you my friend's house now because he has a giant pyramid going at the moment. I should sleep first, but too much work to go all the way back now by typing one command. I've already lost too much time, too much effort. Remember guys, if you did make it this far into the video, which would surprise me, um, be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. Uh, I will be making a return 
probably not daily Minecraft, but probably at least um, twice a week. You'll definitely see at least two videos a week. And they might be longer videos, like upwards maybe of 20 minutes, if I think it's necessary. But as you can see already, you can see the part or the base of the pyramid. He hasn't quite finished it yet. He has all the materials to do it, but he hasn't quite finished it yet. Just for lack of time, and I think it's also a little bit of lack of effort. He hired me to do part of it. Uh, I was the one that gathered, I'd say, 95% of the materials to build this. So, I mean, I did do a lot of the work, and he paid me in diamonds quite a bit, but most of the diamonds that he paid me in are already gone. So, it, as you can see, it's huge. Like, it's ginormous. This is all, like, legitimate. I would show you where I got all of it, but it's kind of far away. It's like two, almost 2,000 blocks that way before I could find a desert, which was slightly irritating. But, tis Minecraft and tis life, and I haven't actually seen this building. I saw him yesterday building it, but didn't see it being completely yet so um, what I'll do guys is everyone that's on the server I will leave a link to their YouTube channels down below because my friend here actually has a YouTube channel and this is the Bank of Australia very interesting just a nice little random gold block here nothing on it that's cool no big deal uh, let's actually close the doors close them they don't need to be open so then, all drugs are welcomed. That's bad, kids. Don't do drugs. Go away, zombie. So, okay. All drugs are welcomed. That's really bad influence. That, that's terrible. Never do drugs. They're bad. So, materials-wise, I mean, he's got a lot of just mm, unorganized stuff. But here's all the sandstone that I basically got for him. So he has enough. He has well over enough to finish that. So let's go home, and I guess I could, I might be able to go to uh, one more person's house, and that is Tim, who actually just texted me, ironically enough. So after I go to Tim's house, or otherwise known as um, Platinum, oh my gosh, he's literally texting me. Okay. So his house is just over here, and I apologize for my phone going off. That's very, very unprofessional of me. But, you know, people will be people, and they will text me, unfortunately. But at the same time, people... I don't know. I don't know. I like when people text me every once in a while. Makes... Sh you know, it reminds me that I'm not forever alone. Always sitting here making solo videos out of pure boredom. So his house should be over here. It should be. Last time I checked, unless he moved and destroyed the whole landscape. Um. Bum, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Yep, there it is. Starting to load in. And just gonna jump down here. Take a little fall damage, not a big deal. I can just eat up. And after this, I think I'm going to end the video here. Maybe put a little sign down for him. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put a sign down for him. And does he have a sign already? He doesn't, but I'm going to make one. Crafting table, get some sticks, and make a sign. Yeah, I'll be nice and throw the materials back in. I don't sound like him. So that's actually an inside joke. Uh, maybe one day if I'm recording, I will. I'll ask him about it. Maybe the next time he gets on, I'll bring it up and we'll see how that goes. So I think that's just about going to do it for this video and I don't really have much else to talk about there's other people on the server 
but I'm not 100% sure where their houses are at the moment and how to run to them at the moment. Maybe one day I will. But at the moment, the only reason I know where Tim lives is because he's pretty close to me. And my friend, my other friend who built the pyramid, his house is just ginormous. And it's kind of hard to miss. So, I think that's just about going to do it. Uh, like I said before, remember to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. And it helps out. It helps me out. It helps me know you want to see more. Um, comment down below what you want to see from me. I mean, I can play tons of different games. I, I have TF2, which I'm going to be doing videos on. I'm terrible at it, but I'm going to be doing videos on it. I have Minecraft, obviously, and, you know, I can get other games for you guys if you really do want to see them. So let me know what you want to see down below in the description, down there, down there, way down there. Okay, <laughs> so I'd like to thank you all for watching. Remember to leave a like if you liked it, a comment if what you want to see and subscribe if you'd like to see more if you haven't already and that's just about gonna do it so adios